uh, was Vanderbilt an option for you coming out of high school? Uh, pretty much before Purdue, you know, they did. They were my uh, my biggest recruiter. Uh, I was always taking visits because they're 10 minutes down the street from my house, so I was always taking visits over there and uh, meeting with them and, you know, talking about my future there. And then uh, once the uh, staff switched up, the heat coordinator and the office coordinator got fired, uh, they switched up recruiting. I wasn't recruited anymore, and then Purdue came in, so uh, I'm thankful for Purdue, and I wouldn't have had it any other way. So good choice, though. Yeah, I know. I like it. <laughs> I'm glad they stopped recruiting me. But just to go against your hometown, right? yeah. it would be your home, kind of your hometown school there. Yeah, it's an opportunity, and you know I got a lot of family uh, home and and that are coming to the game just to you know, watch me play, and uh, everyone's uh, expecting the show, so that's what we're going to try and get. So Bryson, talk a little bit about how sick you were on Friday night, and what the cause of that was. Um, I, I would just say. Uh, Maybe a little bit of dehydration, but it was just uh, every time I would come off the field, I would have this overwhelming sickness in my stomach just to just to get something out so that I felt like I had more endurance and I didn't feel the need to throw up. So I would just have to throw up and get it out. And then when I went back in, I'd be okay for a few plays. And then it would just get to me. You know, I think altitude had a little bit to do with it, but other than that, I should have done a better job hydrating. Uh, but I'm not going to call it a bug yet, but I was throwing up a, a lot. So. Are you better now? Yeah, I'm better now. Yeah, I'm all good, looking good. Just uh, the way the offense was clicking those first three quarters, uh -huh. is that how you envisioned this offense uh, as you I, went through camp? I would say even smoother than that, I would say. Uh, I, I envisioned it. I, vis I envisioned we were going to have our mistakes, you know, just like every team does. Uh, but uh, the th for the first three quarters, we were looking good, and I was proud of it. Uh, and I think all we got to do is just become more consistent, you know, pull off that third quarter and just work to finish. Even, even being sick with the John Mackey tight end of the week, what do you think of that? Uh, you know what, for week one, I think that's a, it's a great start. Uh, you know, every tight end's fighting for that award, so I appreciate the recognition, but on to the next one, you know, maybe I can get another one. Why did the, or why was Elijah so comfortable, especially those first two and a half quarters? Yeah. Um, Elijah's been there. He's done that. He's, he's played in even more pressure than that. So I don't think anyone was really worried about him or, or his mindset. Uh, he's going to go out there and do his thing either way. Uh, but I, I like the way he looked out there and, and uh, throwing us the ball. You know, he's getting in there quick the way we expect him to. So uh, I think he did a good job. And just as a team, we, we all need to just pitch in and help him a little more. What, what, what will it take to close out a game now, at least from the offensive perspective? It's all a mindset. I'd say uh, we, went, we came out after, I'd say after halftime, we had a comfortable lead and we kind of relaxed a little bit, I'd say maybe. And, and that can't happen, you know, as a, as a team wanting to, to go to the Rose Bowl, you know, that you can't pull up off any team, no matter how, uh, how lesser they are. And I'm not calling Nevada lesser, but that was our mindset is we wanted to go in there and prove to them that they were lesser. But they played a good game and, and we give them their props to that. But, uh, yeah, I just think uh, as a team, we need to pull it together in our head to go out there and just work harder, finish as a defense, offense, and special team. Do you think the offense was aggressive enough in the second half? Um, I think we were a little conservative, conservative because we had that lead. Maybe we wanted to wear down the clock a little bit. I don't know. But uh, I think we have the tools to get it done. So whether we were conservative or not, I don't think it was a, a it was just a mindset of Coach Brahms of what we needed to get done. You know, it's a strategy. So whatever he's going with, I'm going with. What do you think of the younger guys that stepped up in the offense? This uh, you know, I think they did a good job this game, and I think we're going to need even more of that this next game. And, and like Coach Brom said, you know, they were, Nevada was a good opponent, opponent, but they're the least of our worries on our schedule now. So uh, we got to step it up. And I'd say as such a young team, they need to do their part and step it up even more.